Hello, Internet. Is anyone else tired constantly just all the time? Yeah, I think everyone is. I used to be a lot more mentally tired because I would just sit at home all day on my computer, on my couch, watching stuff, scrolling on my phone. You know, that really fries your brain doing that and is exhausting in its own way. So what I started doing is I go on walks every day. I even started going to the gym. And wow, does exercising help with mental health issues. What a concept. I'm sure you've heard that a million times. Guess what, guys? It's true. It actually helps. <laughs> the trade there is that now I'm physically tired more often, or I'm sore, or I need to get more sleep in order to feel more rested, or I need to eat more food because I'm burning more calories, and I need, to, I need to intake more so that I can feel sustained, you know? But I definitely would say it's worth it. I would rather be a little physically tired than feel as bad as I felt six weeks ago before I started doing this again. And it really doesn't take much. I like to walk about an hour a day, but you really only have to walk like 20, 30 30 minutes a day to get the benefits. As far as exercising goes, most people think that burning calories and building muscle is only a physical thing. And that's why people exercise, go to the gym with lift weights and stuff. But you can use exercise to burn off mental fat. Obviously going for a walk is not gonna heal your childhood trauma, but if you have a lot of extra stuff going on in your brain and distractions that are keeping you from doing the things that you really wanna do, dedicating a couple extra hours a week to exercising is gonna help get rid of that. I'm somebody who's lived in my head for most of my life. I'm really in my head. I do a lot of ruminating. I do a lot of cyclical thinking. I get stuck in loops and it feels like it's impossible for me to get out of it but six weeks of walking and exercising I feel like I'm in a completely different place I just felt like I needed something else to focus on and I felt like I really needed something to invest myself in that wasn't creative or that wasn't like demanding of my mind to think of things the good thing about going to the gym is that you kind of just go and do what you need to do and then you leave I guess you could treat art that way but that's not how I like to treat it and once you have like a sort of a routine down with the gym and you know kind of what you're gonna do what day all it takes is for you to just complete it and just do it to zoom out a little bit and make this a little bit broader any sort of of activity or hobby that you can do as an artist that doesn't require too much thinking and creative input and it just requires you to go and do the thing that's a really good way to help your art if your entire day consists of thinking in your head burning mental energy when it's time to sit down and make art you're not going to have the energy or the juice to make it you know obviously if you're like running a marathon you're probably not going to want to sit down and record a song after but just a little bit of physical activity has been helping me so much with executing my creative ideas because it's almost like you want to rebel against yourself where you're like i was outside doing physical things now i want to be inside doing mental things but if you're inside doing mental things constantly and the thing that you want to do is an inside mental thing it's going to be a a lot harder to bring yourself to do that but as always you know you don't have to listen to me do whatever you want it doesn't really matter that's also a part of this is it doesn't really matter i used to get so down on myself when i wasn't making art or wasn't making music or wasn't making videos or i couldn't think of an idea i couldn't think of something to write i couldn't think of something to talk about but since i didn't have another outlet i would just be like sitting in that i would just be living in that feeling and be like well I guess this is just my life. But now that I have this other outlet that I've reintroduced into my life, all of those other problems don't seem like problems. They just seem like things that people deal with on a regular basis that do creative things. Making art is not something that is straightforward. So the process might not always be straightforward and it might not always be something that's easy to figure out. So don't be so hard on yourself. Try to find something else to do that is not creative and that can engage your body and your mind in a completely different way than what you do creatively with your art, your music, whatever it is. And I guarantee you, you will feel better about what you're doing almost immediately. I'm thinking of this as a lifestyle change. I'm not just like, I'm going to do this until I feel better, then I'm going to stop. No, that's not how this works. This is something I've implemented into my life that I'm going to pursue and keep doing and keep a part of my life so that my art and my life in general can just be better because I'm making myself stronger. You know, going to the gym is not just about physical health. You're making yourself mentally stronger too. You know, sometimes I don't want to be there. Sometimes bringing myself to do a certain workout or something like if you're going hard, it's tough, but you know, life is tough. So you might as well control the parts of your life that you can make tough to the best of your ability because it's going to be tough no matter what so that's it for this video hope you enjoyed see you next week